This is Cat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before. It's coming up towards the end of March so this is the time of month when I like to do my small shop showcase um, and what that is is basically me showing you all of the things that I have acquired from small shops in the diamond painting community this month um, and I do have quite a few things to show you this month actually. How did that happen I wonder? It's not like I have any self-control issues. No, 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 no. Um, okay, so I'm going to move some of these aside and crack on without further ado. So, first off, um, I'm going to show you this and if you've watched any of these videos before you might recognise this box because I've had rather a few um, boxes arrive that look like this because this is a pen from Norse Alchemist. Now, have I remembered to remove the invoice already? Well, it's in there but it's folded. Last month I had to figure out how to blur things because I accidentally showed my address. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have got a pen from Norse Alchemist. It comes wrapped like this and here it is. So, now this is a tricky one to get it to focus on actually because it's there's a lot of clear bits. Um, so here it is. Um, this is one that uh, there were a small number of blanks put up for sale and you could choose to have them turned how you wanted because a lot of what he does now is kind of ready turn pens and a lot of those turn, tend to be done in a medium turning style and I prefer a thin turning style. So I actually bought a blank and I asked him to turn it in this shape and in a thin turn because um, I have one other from him like this and I just find it really comfortable. You might wonder uh, how this can be called thin because it looks rather chunky, doesn't it? Basically, he he goes by the bumps. Um, so this would be a five bump pen. And then he says thin, thick or, or thin, medium or thick, I guess. And what that refers to is the inner bit. So what that means is the outer bits, the outer bumps, go out quite far, but it comes into an arrow point And that is the bit that determines the comfort for me. So that works really well for me. Anyway, this is the pen that I chose. Um, I think when I chose it, I didn't realise quite as much of it was clear resin as it was. Um, so I, I don't know. I think maybe I didn't choose the best shape for it or something because it is beautiful, don't get me wrong. But I don't think it maybe did the blank as much justice as another shape might have done. But it is what it is. And, and it is very, very, very pretty still. Um, that doesn't take anything away from his talent at turning pens. And the polish he gets. Just Norse Alchemist pens are just so shiny and pretty. And it's really satisfying. There's bits of silver leaf. There's bits of feathers and other fabric. And those feathers? I think those are feathers. Um, so yeah, that is my pen for this month and I only have one pen which is quite unusual for me. <laughs> so let me move that to the side. Next up I have a tray um, from a lady called Marta who works on Facebook so she doesn't have a shop front anywhere as yet um, but she is in quite a few of the Facebook groups I'm in in the diamond painting community and she does sales just via Facebook so you message her um, and, and ask her to do something and she generally can she is an absolute whiz with a 3d printer and my friend Claire over at Diamond Painting Nerd, I went round to her house and she was showing me her latest order from Marta and she had this tray and I thought, oh, I would like to try one of those. Um, so that is what I have ordered here. So it is a lovely, decent sized tray. <laughs> and here it is. So there is loads of room in there. It's got a nice stopper that just slides in and out like that. I'm just trying to work out if one side's better than the other. No, if it's quite snugly either way, which is great, it will loosen a little bit over time and actually it doesn't need to because it fits really well. And it's got a ledge at the bottom. So I have um, a, a tray from Yellow Dog Designs CA that I really, really love that has a ledge at the bottom. And she started doing that too. Oh, bit of fluff on there. Um, so yeah. It's got a couple of slight marks there. I'll have to give that a scrub. But yeah, it's um, 
it's two colors it's purple on the bottom and then there's this like gradated it goes from almost white to quite a deep pink in different points and it's very pretty so let me see how that handles some drills i've only got some round drills to hand but we give those a try and i haven't given this a clean or a wipe with a static um, wipe or anything like that which is a good idea with trays to do that when they come out of the post so we'll see if that causes any issues but let's line those up pretty well rounds are trickier I find um, squares often line up a bit better so there you go it's lined them up pretty nicely there's a few that aren't quite sticking in the lanes but I'd say overall that's doing a good job um, and yeah I look forward to trying it so let's see how well things pour out because it doesn't have a proper spout it's got a well it's got a gap Whoop. oh gosh <laughs> that was my hand slipping um so that wasn't a fault of the tray as such but i suppose that is a downside to having a spout spout um right <laughs> how am i gonna fix this okay let me try again essentially <laughs> oh dear I'm so clumsy how do I always do these things on camera <sighs> right give me a minute while I pick up all the drills you don't you don't need to watch this <laughs> okay so my second attempt went better I think a tray like this is probably better suited to something like Elizabeth Ward style containers rather than these quite narrow pots because it just sort of sits on the top of there and unless you're very precise you're going to spill drills but in a wider pot like the Elizabeth Ward style ones you wouldn't have that issue and I think that it, it would do a better job there so yeah I will give this a go and let you know how I get on with it but Marta's a lovely lady. I will pop her Facebook details down below. It is just a private Facebook, but I've checked with her before, um, and that is how she prefers to do sales. Um, and yeah, if you like the look of her products, you just get in touch. Okay, next up, I think I will take a look at this. Now, let me remind myself of the name of this shop that I bought this from. Okay, this is from Flow Art UK. Now, I don't think I have an invoice in here, but it's very pretty. So you might be able to guess from the shape of it, but basically I was browsing Etsy as you do, um, and I came across these trinket trays. And as is often the case with things like trinket trays, I don't think this shop is specific to diamond painting or anything like that. It's just a, a use that you can have for these things. It is large. I didn't realize it was so big, but I saw the pictures and it just looked so beautiful. So let's see, that's a really nice, thank you for your order card there. Oh, I have got an invoice below. So let me just whisk that to the side. So this is a combination of resin and wood. Oh, what was that? Okay, so there is, so I guess the lady behind Flow Art is called Claire Fisher. And she's an artist and those are her details so pen and ink specialist altered art and resin gifts Ooh. okay i love the presentation really really pretty um oh <laughs> but i can't actually undo it i might need to cut that with scissors it took i think maybe a week or two to dispatch it was well within the expected um, delivery time for the Etsy gave me um, so I think it was possibly made on demand and if I can get through this beautiful wrapping I will be able to show it to you <laughs> oh, it's rip 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 now okay here we go oh wow <laughs> that is so nice isn't it lovely it's got feet on the bottom which is a really nice touch because it won't slide round and this wood is just gorgeous look at that and then the top oh I love it so it was um 
and what could I choose? I, I chose for it to be this ocean style where it's looking a bit like sand and, and sea and the waves, the tides coming in. There was an option to add bits of shell in, um, but I didn't do that, mainly because I couldn't work out if they were gonna stick out through the resin and I wanted a smooth surface. Um, and also they added a little bit to the price. Um, and this wasn't the cheapest, which I think you would expect looking at it. It's obviously a quality piece, but it did cost, Okay, according to my invoice, it initially cost £28, but I got a 10% discount. So, yeah, it's it's very much a handmade quality product, and I think that's a reasonable price for it. It's also huge. It's, it's like twice as big, I think, as my other ones. So I'll have to work out how to fit it on my table. But <laughs> my other ones do tend to get very full, so it will actually be nice to have a bit more room on them. It's just beautiful. I will pop the shop details down below. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to tell things like if they ship internationally. You might have to check that out for yourself if you're interested because if I look at it as a UK person, it doesn't necessarily tell me things like that because it does ship to my country, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, if I can put any information down there, I will. And yeah, check them out because this is gorgeous and it is going to be so perfect for holding my things. I have a shiny Shazza pot that I put there um, that contains several packs of putty. And then I have a pen and tweezers and a trash drill pot and usually like some washi tape and bits like that because I'm not very minimalist. So I always have too much stuff around. You don't have to have all that, but I always end up having all that. And this is going to fit them all really, really well. Okay, so that is that one. And what shall I look at next? Okay, so I've got these two minders. So let's move on to the cover minder portion of the, <laughs> the video. So I think the first one I'll go for is this one because this is a shop I have opened from before. So this is another minder from... Agnes Little Minders and I believe that this was actually from her Valentine's collection and I think I have had this for a while I'm pretty sure I had it sitting there when I did my February small shop showcase and I thought oh shall I include it and then I thought no I'll save it for next month because I showed a different one um so yeah this is from the Valentine's collection and do you know what I can't remember what I got so I'm quite excited to see <laughs> See how much better I'm getting at not ripping into things all the time to look at them. <laughs> they all used to be all ripped into and then put away in their boxes, but no, I'm learning patience in my forties. Okay, so inside there is always a little note and some things like resin care um, and all of that good stuff. So I will put that to one side because I've unboxed from these before. There's always a little lollipop wrapped in tissue, which I put aside for my son. He really appreciates those and a tea bag. And here is my minder in a little box. She does wrap her things so beautifully. Now, isn't that cool, her logo? <laughs> She's in Wales, which I was mentioned just because I'm Welsh, so you know. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Removing all the layers. Here we go. There it is. It's quite big actually. Here it is. Oh, it is so, so pretty. Oh, it's quite delicate too because it's not that thick. Some of her chameleons and dragons and that kind of thing, because of the nature of what they are, can be quite thick and big, whereas this won't stick away from the painting as much. And how clever is she in what she can do with the clay? Because this is made out of clay um, or polymer clay. So that's one of the other things in there, I think, is a, a... Did I say there was a resin care thing in there? Because I meant a clay care. Anyway, and I've seen on Instagram how she makes things and she'll make like a kind of long shape with all the colours going through it and then slice it. And then it, it looks like it's just been painted on, but actually she will have made all the shapes out of resin and then cut them and manipulated them. And I just, I just goals. I wish I was this talented to make something like this. It's so pretty. The back is here. 
and she always covers that with clay as well. One thing I will say with hers is because this is covered, it's quite bulky and that can mean that it sort of makes your, it, it creates a bump in your canvas. So I have thought that the next time I get one of her minders out to work with, I may just switch it for another magnet. She uses super strong magnets too. <laughs> just to give a flatter back um, so that it doesn't disrupt the shape of my canvas. But yeah, there you have it. Another Agnes Minders minder <laughs> for my collection. Um, I'll pop her details below. She has a Facebook group. Your best bet is to join that because she does. She sells via Etsy, but she sells via drops and they come at a certain time and there will be people ready and waiting for those drops and knowing what they want to get with them. And most things will sell out quite quickly. So it's not a shop where you can just browse at leisure and pick things up whenever you want to. It is a shop where <laughs> you need to be ready at drop time to go in and get them. Um, ones like this, these flower ones, um, tend to be, well, I don't know if they're less popular or if she's able to make more of them, but they tend to be a little easier to get hold of than things like dragons and chameleons and stuff. But this was what I wanted from this one anyway. So yeah. Um, join her Facebook group and she shares information there about upcoming drops and that kind of thing. So that is your best bet for getting hold of one. Okay. And then next up, as I said, I have another minder. And this was just, I was browsing Etsy one night, as I often do, and thought I would take a look and see what I could find. And I came across this shop that I'm surprised I've never come across before because judging by the amount of sales and reviews, they've been there for a while. But they're called Pedro's Plaques. Um, oh, Pedro's Plaques and Pretty Things based on, on the return address. Um, and they make needle minders. I think they, they call them needle minders, but of course a needle minder works as a cover minder too. So um, I, I placed an order. It was very reasonably priced. Now let me check. Hiya. Sorry, Harry arrived while I was checking. It was £8 plus £2.50 postage. Um, it did, however, come with quite a long wait. Um, it was handmade to order, so I think the lead time was about four weeks. And it did, in fact, take most of that time. And then, actually, it went in the post in time to get to me before when it was due, but then got held up in the post. So it came a day or two after when it should have done, but that wasn't their fault. Um, and actually I messaged the lady because I had an email from Etsy saying, has your order arrived? As they sometimes do. And I thought, oh, actually no. And that was sent last week. So I dropped her a message to ask about the tracking and she replied to me straight away and was really lovely um, and said, you know, this is what the tracking says. It normally says this, you know, right before it's going to arrive. But if it doesn't turn up soon, let me know and I can send you another one very soon. Um, but then it turned up the next day and I felt bad for hassling. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing it. So these are also clay, but a very different style to the Agnes ones. Um, yeah, and I'm excited to see it. If I can get in. Harry, hello. Careful of my scissors. He's probably a bit confused because his brother's gone out to the vet and he's wondering where he is. He's just gone for his uh, boosters, nothing to worry about. Oh my goodness, I'm really struggling to get into this. There we are. Okay, I'm finally in. Right, quick invoice check. No, I don't think so. Now that is nice, I like that. Got a very cool cover minder here. Pedro's plaques and pretty things. And a website, oh, so they have a website as well as Etsy, do they? I'll have to check that out and a Facebook group or page. I'm not sure, but I, I will give them a follow after. I really like this. What a cool way to send it. So let me see what I have got in here. Okay. Oh, okay. That bit of bubble wrap contained the back bit. So that is the back magnet and it's like a little button. So again, similar to the Agnes Minders, in practice that might be a little bit bulky. As I say, she marketed herself more as selling needle minders. Um, so that sort of thing wouldn't be as much of an issue, would it? Um, but yes, I may in fact switch that out for a smaller magnet in practice. <laughs> I 
can you imagine if I dropped that on the floor and it had broken? Okay, here it is. That is very cute. And you're going to bear in mind this was made to order and it only cost £8 as well. That is so good. Oh my gosh, look at the magnet on that. That, that is going to be strong. Dare I try it? Okay. It's actually, it's, it's very good and strong as in it's strong enough, but it's not ridiculously strong like I thought it might be when I saw the size of that. Um, it slides around nice and easily. So yeah, it is so adorable. There were several on there that I really liked the look of actually. Um, yeah, but I chose this one and I think it's super cute. And again, just really, really talented with the clay because it's not easy. I've had a go messing around with it before and I honestly just didn't have the patience for it. I didn't have any particular talent for it and I just, yeah, it frustrated me. But this is so pretty. It is simpler than the um, Agnes Minders one, but then it's also a fraction of the price. So if you enjoy this kind of handmade clay type minder, you should check this shop out. I can feel another order coming on personally. Um, so yeah, really happy. Okay. And then last thing that I wanted to show you. So it doesn't technically fit in a small shop showcase, although they're also not a huge shop. But you may have seen on the channel a while ago, I did an unboxing where Catted, or Catty Red, I'm not sure how to pronounce it still, had kindly sent me um, some of their tra bricks, or tray bricks. Again, not sure how to pronounce that either. Um, they'd sent me those over to have a look at, and I unboxed them and had a play around with them. And I thought they looked really cool, but I did note at the time that on their website, they said they had anti-static properties. And actually, when I was playing around with them, they, they quite clearly were some static issues. Now, that can be dealt with very easily by just cleaning, like washing in soapy water or with um, what my, a dryer sheet, rubbing a dryer sheet over them. But it wasn't quite what, what had been said on the website. I didn't say anything too catted. I didn't, you know, complain about it or anything, but they obviously watched my video. And then a couple of weeks later, they emailed and said, you know, sorry that you had that experience. We have actually recently upgraded the anti-static technology and we have sent you some new ones. So they have sent me another set of, set of tray bricks, which was very generous of them. Ooh. And I'm going to have a quick look at this with you now to see what the difference is. So if you missed my original unboxing video, what tray bricks are, are this, these systems. They have small and large. These are large ones. You can buy them in different boxes of all small or all large or a mixture and all sorts. And they are a storage system where as you can see, it's very neat and tidy, um, but basically it is a storage container and a tray all in one. So you pop your drills in there. When you want to use them, you shake them around and line them up and use the tray. And when you're done, you close the lid. They're very easily stackable because they're very neat and tidy. Um, and that is the idea of the system. And I think it's a great system, particularly for a high confetti piece where you don't want to be moving drills in and out of your tray all the time. So let me see what this is like. Oh, and it actually says anti-static on there now. I'm not sure what happened before, whether maybe I had got some old stock or, I, I have no idea. But they said they have made changes and it does look much better. Those, I, if you watched my video before, when I was trying to pat them down, they were sort of just staying where they were and then it was quite hard to get them out as well. These, Harry, <laughs> that's not as helpful as you think it is. These are moving up and down <laughs> quite well. Oh, Harry, he's slightly damp as well. It's not particularly pleasant to stroke him. <laughs> so yeah, good job, Katia. They seem to do the job much better now. Brilliant. Okay, I'm gonna put them away in a minute because I need to clear this one out of the way. So yeah, that is me and my small shop haul for the month of March. Oh, Harry, 
He's just treading in all the things. It's a disaster. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at all of these with me. It's always nice to go back to my old favourites like Norse Alchemist and that kind of thing, but also to try some new to me shops. Um, and I hope that th this gives you some ideas of some places where you might like to spend your pennies if, like me, you are a bit of an accessory nut and like to try all the things. Right. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like on it. If you are new to the channel and you're not yet subscribed and you've enjoyed what I've seen here, please consider subscribing. I tend to do one of these videos every month um, and I also do unboxings, sneak peeks, post reviews, whipping chats, kitten chats, occasionally tips videos, all the usual things really. Um, so, you know, please stick around and I will hopefully see you all again soon. Bye-bye.